they co-starred as husband and wife on the hit series Awkward, and now they're rekindling their on-screen romance with their new Hallmark movie, Reunited at Christmas. It's perfect. You're reuniting at Reunited at Christmas. I love it. Please welcome my co-host, Nikki Deloche, and her co-star, Mike Fayola. Yeah. Joining us, Mike. Thanks very much. Happy to be here. Yeah, thanks for being here. <laughs> now, uh, you have appeared in many Hallmark movies, of course, Nikki. We all know that. Everybody watching knows that. What was different about this movie for you? Well, Mike was in it. Um, so that was great, and that made it special. Yes. That was a good um, thing? That, that was a bad thing. I mean, I don't know. It just hung there for a second. Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't sure where sure. we were going, Mike. <laughs> um, no, actually, what made this one really special, well, it was an idea that I took to Hallmark, so I got to develop it with them, which was amazing. But I really wanted to tell a story of a family that... Um, had been separated for a lot of Christmases. Okay. And the, when the matriarch of the family passed away, she basically, you know, what she left behind was wanting the whole family to come back together for one last Christmas where they do all the traditions. And I, I just think it's so important for you to try and just families to make the effort to come back together. And I wanted That's to see point. that play out. I wanted also to tell an ensemble story. You know, in Hallmark, oh, yeah. we, it's, it is about the romance and we do have a romance, but this is truly a movie about a family, um, which I love, yeah. Which uh, you, you love, and I think a lot of people out there will also be able to connect to it. I think right? so. I, I think, think it's... people will be like, oh, get that. Yeah, I think it's incredibly relatable because there's a storyline for everyone yeah. watching. For sure. Yeah. Um, and, Mike, you play Simon. That's and, right. And, uh, you know, sometimes we're asked to describe our characters the best way we can. And I absolutely love this. You described your character as a little bit of a laboratory retriever. Labrador yeah. retriever. He's definitely a Tell Labrador me. retriever. I'd say he's reliable. He is upbeat. <laughs> he's very, very loyal. That's and so good. No matter how many times you roll up the newspaper and swat him on the nose, he's going to come back and wag his tail and give you a kiss. <laughs> Isn't that, that's the best analogy. I love that. Well, we've got a clip uh, that pretty much describes what you're talking about. All right. Let's take a look. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> I was just thinking about the best way for us to tell my parents. Right. Your parents. <laughs> I was pretty excited last night, so I emailed them to let them know we have some pretty big news. Wow, this is all happening so fast. <laughs> so I was thinking we could call them and tell them together? Yeah. D sure. <laughs> hey, don't worry. They love you, Sam. Right? They're going to be so excited about all this. <sighs> Come here. <laughs> oh, wait. Look at that. I love that clip. That was a great clip from the film, and I can obviously see the chemistry that you guys have. You know each other pretty well. But mm -hmm. what I, I didn't know was that was actually the, the first scene. That was the first scene. That you shot in this film, and you had to just kind of jump right in and have that chemistry. Wow. But what did you notice knowing Mike so well, Nikki? No, I remember grabbing his hands at one time, and I was like, "Oh, he's he's a little nervous." Like, did you know that you? Like... Oh, for sure, I knew <laughs> I was nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. But I, I mean, I've worked with him for so many years, so I was like, "Oh, okay." When he's a little nervous, he, you know, you just have to kind of like, you know, like a Labrador coddled. retriever. You <laughs> gotta like, it a little bit. yeah, just you a little see? bit, you know, yeah. like it's all gonna be good. And then he just like sinks into it, and he was cool. Yeah, because you yeah. never yeah. guess you at watching that scene. No, of course, the scene looks great on the first day of a new job you're oh, going yeah. to be feeling the jitters and you're yeah. feeling everybody on the cast and the crew out and so it takes a couple of scenes to get into the flow of Absolutely. things and yeah. unfortunately Nikki and I have a shorthand so we got yeah. there pretty quickly right. yeah and I can also tell it's early in the shoot because we look so fresh-faced and well rested <laughs> fast forward to a scene a couple weeks later we're beat up man it's uh... <laughs> a lot of people don't realize that you shoot these movies so out of order too so I mean I think it was yes. interesting but yeah. um now Nikki contrary to your character uh you really do make a big effort like you talked about yes. to spend time with your family over the holidays uh, in, in Georgia yes well the the last Christmas and this Christmas will be different but only because of my son's heart surgery so they yes. were so close to the holidays yeah. that we can't really travel yeah. so we're gonna be here but Every Christmas before that for my entire life, we've all been in Georgia. That's a picture of my oh, family's cabin on the farm. In fact, it was like 
it was in our vows, you know, because it's always, I don't know, you I mean, married couples have these discussions of like, <laughs> who's gonna go to which family's place at Christmas time? And I, like in our vows, till death do us part, we will spend Christmas on the farm. Oh, um, Georgia. And Georgia. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> it, it probably avoided a lot of arguments in the relationship. You know, let, let's just put this out there. It's in the vows. Yeah. You agreed to it. Yes, That's exactly. That's really funny. I mean, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. It, uh, means, a, it means a lot to yeah, us, yeah. Yes, it does. And Christmas is a time, of course, to spend, you know, time with the family. Right. It's also a time to make sure we uh, make an effort to give back. Mike, I yes. know that's something really important to, uh, to you, to give back to the youth. Uh, yeah, giving back to the youth. I don't even know if I like to think of it as giving back. Okay. It's something I think it's a good, uh, it's a good habit to be in, to be in service of others. As By the way, as long as I've sound. known Mike, this is what, he has done this, like yeah. as long as I've known him. Yeah, I, I, I work with, um, particularly with homeless uh, teens, uh, homeless youth throughout Los Angeles, and uh, currently I'm a case manager at uh, Safe Place for Youth, which is a uh, drop-in shelter for youth experiencing houselessness in the Venice Beach area. And we connect them with various services, all the way you know, to, down to basic needs like showers and clothing and food, to education and employment support, to health uh, insurance, to getting their IDs for them. Uh, so many, it's a multifaceted program. That's it's really beautiful. great. That's a so. I mean, what an incredible way to yeah. spend your time. And I like the distinction you made. Instead of just giving back, it just is. It's just yeah. who you are, yeah. just what you do. And so should anybody else want to get involved with <laughs> there you them. Go. Uh, their Please. website is uh, safeplaceforyouth.org. Go ahead and take a look and you can uh, you can volunteer, you can contribute in a great many ways. And the good part of it is it makes you feel more connected to your community yeah. as of course, well. Of course, yeah. right? There's always that backhand effect too that obviously it's fantastic for us as well. Mike, thanks so much for stopping by. Hey, thanks really for having appreciate me. It. Nikki, yeah. uh, we're almost done here. You got a little bit more time with us. <laughs> almost finished, but everybody at home reunited at Christmas premieres Wednesday, November 21st at 8, 7 central right here on Hallmark Channel. You don't want to miss it.